Auto Detailing by Me is the leader in auto detailing in Southern West Virginia. We offer several exterior as well as interior detailing services, including engine shampooing, convertible top cleaning, interior fabric protection, and long-term paint sealing. There are detailing packages to choose from to fit any budget. We also offer custom decaling and over 200 colored bed liners to choose from. See why Auto Detailing by Me is Southern West Virginia's leader in auto detailing. Visit us on the web at autodetailingbyme.com or call us at 304-461-0049. Tell you what, this is a great special attraction match that was just added this afternoon, Stephen. Nero taking on Mad Dog Dave Lynch. And you know, looking at this match right now, this is one of those things that makes this night so special. You got a guy like Nero in there, you got a guy like Dave Lynch in there, and the rest of the show, top to bottom, you got guys from NWA Mid-Atlantic, you got guys from every other walk of life regionally throughout all the promotions, not just the wrestlers, but fans uh, that I've seen over the years all pouring out here tonight, all supporting the legacy of Ward Wilson. Absolutely, Stephen. And now Mad Dog putting Nero in the corner. Brandon Ashworth, he's going to have to really work hard if he plans to keep control here this evening. Uh, yeah, and he's going to have a big problem with that, I think. And we've got two very different styles in that ring there. Mad Dog, crazy as they come, primarily a brawler. Nero, agile, high flyer, fast as they come. The dichotomy between the two men should make for a very interesting contest. Uh, absolutely, and... You know, you really couldn't be any more 180 degrees opposite of the way these two guys are. And, you know, he... They're both wrestlers. That's about the only thing they have in common. The only thing. And I think, Steve, back to this summer when we got to see Nero compete in that great Fatal 4-Way match at Summer Breakout. Fans, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out on the NWA Mid-Atlantic YouTube channel. Nero and Mad Dog taking their time. Nero, and this has been off-putting for him throughout his career, the fans can get under his skin very easily. He finds himself very frustrated by them, and he needs to shake that off, and he's doing a good job of it for the moment. If he can continue to shake them off, he could walk away with the win today. He's capable of it. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's the, the way I see it, I mean, you got, that's sort of like, uh, a match that you know it's I'm not I, I don't know the guy I, I don't know the the kid but this I do know the guy that he's in the ring with is a tough son of a gun and I can that's coming from personal experience so I know you know he might uh, well he just I mean he, he just sitting there chopping on his on his fingers, so yeah. later sandwiches for the Mad Dog. It, it, exactly, he's hungry. That's not a good sign. But you know, this is going to be a uh, well, Mad Dog education. Arm. This is going to be an educational match. Nero, I thought he was going to roll through out of that one, but Mad Dog holding on very well to that arm. Nero finding himself in a bit of trouble. I can guarantee you, the kid ain't going to outsmart. He ain't going to outsmart the old timer. So even if with the speed advantage that this young man has, that's not enough to take him to that next level to beat Mad Dog this evening? Uh, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to take – but I will say that he's going to have to – I think he's going to have to do a lot more than that. Well, Nero, finding himself in a world of hurt with that arm bar, Mad Dog – I mean, Insane Mad appearance Dog aside, is, yeah, I mean, he don't expertly, care. expertly controlling the pace at the moment. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, if he controls the match, things are things are going to happen on his time, not on his opponent's time. You know that control, though. We've said it before in various ways. That control that can change in the blink of an eye. Oh yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, you just can't. I mean, you got to try to anticipate any anything and everything happening when you're in the ring. And sometimes, depending on the rhythm of the match, it's kind of hard to. I mean, you just sometimes you don't know what's coming. Well, Nero, you saw his body movement. You saw he was looking for a way out. He found it. Mad Dog against the ropes. 
got hit with that big kick by Nero. A lot of power behind that. He might be a smaller competitor, but there's some power to that guy. He knows how to use those kicks very well. He's going to use those kicks a lot more than a punch. But trying to match power, trying to go shoulder block to shoulder block with Mad Dog for a guy like Nero, that is a suicidal maneuver in this contest. Uh, that, you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, you just... I mean, when you're when you're when you're physically in a position where you're outweighed by your opponent, you gotta. He's done a couple things that you know might help him a little bit, but I mean, you gotta understand what you're up against. And he comes over here and picks up his picks up his flag. So I guarantee you, that's his last resort. And you can see that frustration on Nero's face I was talking about earlier. The fans very easily get under his skin. And when you're already already off tilt from what your competitor's done to you, it's very, very dangerous to let anyone else get inside of your head. You can't let that change your game plan. No, but then again, sometimes when you get into fans' heads, you know, it also gets into your – I don't know. It's hard to explain. I understand what you're saying. You're right in what you're saying. Well, the fans have opened up that mean streak of Nero's, and you saw him choke Mad Dog on the ropes. Oh, nice leg drop on the back of Mad Dog's head across say, the middle heard, rope. We heard that over here. Sandwiching yeah. that Larynx. Nero going for the quick pin, and even great buying the leg. It still has, does not have enough power to keep Mad Dog down. And this may be his new strategy. Go after the throat, not even the neck. He's going after the throat. Well, he's definitely trying to cut that oxygen off, Steve. And I'm Bart, I'm sure you can speak from experience. When you're in there, you can't even think about catching your breath. You can't. Well, let me let me ask a different question. What? Aside from cutting off oxygen flow, what happens if somebody goes after your throat that way? Just your throat. Take away the oxygen. How long can you fight if somebody repeatedly attacks your throat? Uh, well, for me. It was not very long because, I mean, you know, that's – if somebody's got you – tell you one of the moves that used to – even though it really wasn't the throat, but it was like the sleeper move. I mean, you know, it's not really on the throat. It's on the head, but it's on the – you know, the pressure's on your carotid artery. So when you're in a ring with somebody that's aware of where to put the pressure on as far as your, your neck, your chest, or whatever – tell you that's a tremendous advantage slow you down in every way shape a and form absolutely i mean and, and trust me and believe me it's hard to recover from that and nero taking liberties right now he's using that medical tape every time brandon ashworth is a little out of position i haven't seen it that's because you don't know how to look steve i'm looking right at the contest i'm calling it better than you well, you, you have never called anything down the middle in your life. Of course not. I like to call things successfully. <laughs> Let's get back to the match, Steve. Well, back to the match. Nero in firm control. A stark contrast to the way this thing started off. Mad Dog, it looked like he had Nero's number. Nero, though, found his opportunity, did a lot of damage in just a few short moments, and he is elected to viciously go after a body part that not only can allow him to win the contest, but can actually stop a man's career. If he spends enough time damaging that throat, that can be a very serious injury to recover from. I tell you, it's, I mean, you know, it's, you're absolutely right. But you know, one, I, I have to give the kid credit for one thing. I mean, he's doing it in an illegal way, but, you know, it is what it is. But he's trying to, he's trying to wear down He's trying to wear his opponent down, and, you know, I, to me it's a tough task, but, I mean, it looks like he's kind of having a little success at this moment. Well, let's take the word trying out of that equation. He's succeeding in that endeavor. <laughs> Mad Dog's worn down. All right, two times the arm's going down. Are we going to see a third time? Oh. No. Somewhere Mad Dog gets that energy to to fight back, that resiliency that comes from probably being a bigger man. Yep, and of course, you know, the, he's getting a little extra leverage in there on that. Well, the referee rear chin lock, referee's telling Nero, you got to break it. Your feet were on the rope. He got caught there. Yep. 
Well, I tell you what, he, uh, I, have, I have a feeling uh, pay, well, so, payback's oh. going to be a son of a gun. Look at the power of Dave Lynch. Devastating clothesline to Nero. I was ripped off the ropes and, oh, I think that elbow just smashed him right in the square of the head. Well, Nero definitely went down from the momentum. He's gone picked up. Nice vertical suplex. Look at the hang time there. That blood just rushing to the head. Very close to 10 seconds he was up in that air. Yeah, all yeah, all I, that blood I mean, flow coming yeah, down. and that's exactly what happens. You know, and then when you finally come down, if you get out of the ring. Nero's got the flag. And that's no shock. But, you know, that uh, you're a little dizzy or a little discombobulated. What's uh, Nero think he's doing here? I don't think that's the reason why he picked up that flag here. But. Well, pushing the referee, that's not going to make him any friends in this thing. No. Well. Got to give Brandon Ashworth credit, though. He's not phased. I was He's staying in there doing his job to a T. The referee needs to be, start getting the count on him. And, Whoa. And War Machine has made his way out. Wow. Trying to reason with Nero. Where'd the War Machine come from? I, I don't know. I mean, War Machine back there trying to talk some sense into Nero. To be fair to the situation, where he came from, irrelevant. Over the years, I've never seen anyone tell that man what to do and succeed. No, and, and I tell you what, War There's a tough dude in that ring in War Machine. My brother and I, we had many brawls with Whoa! him and a lot of Jump people. slam! Wait a minute, what is that? What is that? Uh, that looks like uh, a betrayal to me, but just saying. That looks like a statement from where I'm Wait, sitting. And, and look, and here comes support for Dave Lynch from the locker room. Gentlemen that will be competing in the Battle Royal later this evening. Well, the support came a day late in a dollar short styles. Damage has been done. And I tell you what, though, I've never seen War Machine act in that fashion before. I've never seen War Machine look that happy before. I, I, now I got it. I'm not agreeing with a lot of stuff that you say, but I got to agree with you on that. I haven't seen him ha happy in many moons. The man's a force of destruction. What he wanted to do was destroy something. He did very good. Dave Lynch not looking quite so good from where I'm standing. He paid a price of punishment. <laughs>